A small nonprofit out of Del Mar says the town is losing more trees than are being planted. And all the rain gave new life to invasive plants that steal precious resources from our native plants. CBS 8's Anna Laurel spent the evening with native Del Mar and shows us how they're trying to clean up from the storms. I'm here in the Del Mar Canyon Preserve. This is the walking trail path that's just north of Torrey Pine State Park that leads into Del Mar. And just like all over town, there are Torrey Pine trees here that the storms have tried to blow over. But this weekend, you have a chance to help fix these trees and even add more. And I'm sort of just trying my best to show what these native plants look like in unison and how this environment could really be so beautiful. 16-year-old Tyden Chanowski is trying to make one of arguably the most beautiful places in San Diego even better. With the help of his family and volunteers, he's creating walkable gardens with hundreds of native plants overlooking Torrey Pine State Park and Del Mar. We try to create this like synergetic vibe between all these plants where they all rely on each other in a sort of like one ecosystem. Oh, y'all did this? Yeah, we, we did everything around this, this area. This is great. Yeah. Here's a picture of what this area looked like three years ago before Titan created his nonprofit organization, Native Del Mar. Here it is now. You can obviously see the big difference between we've implemented soil, plants, and if, if you go a little bit further, some boulders. Whereas there, it's just sort of bare and sort of empty. Several years ago, native Del Mar even planted Torrey pines, but they were no match for recent rain and wind storms. And it's not just the new Torrey pines here. This is a 50-year-old tree the wind knocked down near Titan's house. So this weekend, native Del Mar is hosting another planting day. They'll plant dozens of native plants and try to straighten the trees the wind pushed over. This recent storm has just made the soil so loose and the wind has just blown it over again. I found out about Native Del Mar through a nonprofit organization you might have seen here on CBS 8 called WIT. That's whatever it takes. Help young people activate an entrepreneurial mindset. Tyden says WIT helped him grow his small nonprofit into something with a social media following, a legit website, and a movement that's making real change on the San Diego coast. Sunday's Volunteer Day starts at 9 a.m. at the Del Mar Canyon Preserve. In Del Mar, this is Anna Laurel for CBS 8.